first tip that I have to share with you is something that's something that people sometimes forget to do. In the global configuration of Joomla, there's a place to add metadata, which is your keyword, your description, content rights, and where you can some, you can set the author name. It's really good to make sure that those aren't left blank because that's how uh, search engines, that's the little bit of information that search engines use to show people what your site is about when it shows up in search engines. Also, it helps when people are searching if you have the author name, if they're looking for a specific author, um, and it helps for people to know, um, uh, links your content with your keywords, which uh, is, is another important aspect. In the description, you should probably put something close to 20 words in total. It shouldn't be more than that, but it should be very concise and detailed and describe generally what your site is about. In the keywords, you should have maybe five to eight keywords or key phrases that generally target what your website's about also. Underneath that, in the global configuration, there's the ability to toggle on or off the author meta tag, which will show the author's name when any of their content that they've written shows up on a page. Once you've done that, the other important step is when you create content, make sure you set for the specific article the metadata options of keyword and description that highly target what that article or content item is talking about. That will override the general one that will show up. And so you will always have a good description and good keywords if you follow those best pra practices. Hi, my name is Elon Waring and I'm the co-author of the official Joomla book. Um, and I have a tip for you today about how to go about learn Joomla using the Joomla demo site. S the Joomla project has a demo site called demo.joomla.org and it's kind of neat because it actually lets you have your own instance of Joomla. So if you want to learn some of the basics of Joomla and you're a little bit nervous or you don't want to break things on your local site, you can actually register for a demo account and you can try out anything you want over there. You can um, mess up your content, you can delete things, you can add things, you can make hate crazy categories, 10,000 categories inside each other if you want to. And it's just a demo site, so after 30 days, it you could stay there and um, remain as a user at that site, but you can also just have learned how to use Joomla. So I kind of recommend that people go there, especially if you're new to Joomla, go there, play around, learn your way around and not feel like you have to worry that you're going to break anything. You, you really can't break things in a Joomla site anyway, but people are pretty nervous sometimes on the web, so it's just a great playground for people to use. This tip is going to tell you how to develop your site on a live server and be able to develop it, but still keep a page available showing to the public that allows you to collect user information. Create a content article in Joomla and assign it to the home page. This content, content article should have what your website's going to be about, the announcement about the site, a little tip, never put under construction on your website. It really doesn't look good in search engines. The second part of the tip is that develop your website behind that home page by setting the permission levels on everything else to be higher than public. This way you can log into the front end through a hidden menu link that you'll create to the login page and you can see your site while it's being developed. This will help you get ahead in terms of being indexed by search engines and also help your site generate some good public relations.